but why is he good? He has pretty much everything you can ask for when it comes to like what are, what are the categories? There is damage, there is punishment, there is um, defense, offense, and then that fifth one called um, gimmicks, <laughs> shenanigans, technology, setups, whatever you want to call it. He has like great moves in all of those areas. He has something in all of those areas. And um, his poke game is really good. He's got good range on a lot of his moves. Even though he has been nerfed from Tekken Tag 2, I admit he has. This move here, side step 2, used to knock down on hit. And he used to get a free alley kick. They would, um, you know, hold their nose and reel back. But it's all good. It's all good. He has everything else. Look at the range on the back one, too. Pretty much anything that's negative 12 on block, that is going to hit. If it's something negative 13, they sped up his shoulder. It used to be 14 frames. Look at the range on that. Look how far away it hits. So many character spaces away. And that goes, you know, punishment. There used to be a category that, you know, with punishment category but I think that just putting it all into punishment is ideal but if you want to you know divide it feel free he's got great approach tools great approach so he has a Mishima crouch dash which can be turned into a wave dash if you do it multiple times you can really close the distance quick like that and um his forward forward buttons pretty good look at four forward three it's a high plus one on block um no it's zero it's zero it's neutral on block but it's a launch and he can get like up to 63 damage if you uh, do the right combo that's my lazy combo 63 if you do um sidestep shining wizard is still gonna be 63 but you get better okay oh yeah yeah but sidestep 2-1 is a launcher isn't it yeah on your ring it is the problem is that you have to commit to it if you want damage like you have to really commit and the move is punishable on block it's negative 13 All right, <laughs> you guys are really trying to convince me that I'm famous. Y'all better stop now. And how does he more are that fast? How does he move that fast? You gotta practice, dude. You have to really practice. Like Korean back dashing, that's just back dashing. Then hitting down back and back dashing again. But back to Armor King, his four forward buttons. 444 has been really, really buffed. Really buffed. It's not even that punishable anymore. It used to be launch punishable by pretty much everyone, but now it's like a really, really good pushback. They buffed the damage. Instead of it being in the 20s, it's 30 solid points. And obviously, it's a wild bounce. Look at the type of, um, the type of damage that he gets off of a wall bounce like let me see if I can get it look at this 72 points from a wall bounce that's if you can do it but if you want to be lazy you can do a couple of things you can do four four shoulder for 70 you can do four down two four three 69 he has some really, really good moves. And um, he has a move that I don't even use much, but this move here, uh, back one plus four, it's been buffed. It gets around a lot more stuff in this game. And they made it safer too. It's actually like negative 10 on this game or negative 11, but it has pushback on block. Look at the pushback.
<laughs> what? Just do the throw after the wall bounce? No, no, don't just do the throw after the wall bounce, bro. You, you're saving off too much damage. Well, saving off a point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just do four into um, running throw. I wonder if he can get. Now, if he's a little further away, he can get a little bit more, but just keep it simple. Four into ISW, 72, almost have life. You got it. And like I said, his, uh, his approach, great. Now, I use the controller, Komodi. I have to keep flashing this thing on the stream. It's always somebody new that wants to know. Got the margin symbol there. You guys can see it. Does it light up? Yeah. <laughs> Use a regular controller. Got to be optimal. Yeah. All right, uh, Armor King. Let me see. Let me see if you're in here now. With the um, crazy long name. Okay. Let me go back to scrolling. I wonder if we have any mutual friends at all. Probably not. Oh, I see you. I see you. Armor King. All right, I just added you, bro. Just, yeah, approach 444, 443, pretty good. You got your mid, you got your hide, it tracks. Pretty much covers all of your 404. 442 is whatever. It's punishable, it's negative 12 on block. Not really too useful, but um, Crouch Dash, one of the best approach tools in the game. And the Let's best go. approach tool in the game, oh Armor King has them both. Yo, it's creeping up on us, bro. Yeah, what's up, Sarah? So the Strangler is true. I will be there. Crouch dash one. It's actually plus three on block. Look at the distance. Hits from way over there. It catches people trying to sidestep to. Um, I'll accept the invite in a second on uh, Armor King. Just trying to do a generalization of why Armor King is good. He doesn't need buffs. He's just he just needs to be played in a different manner. Um, he has a win Godfist. A lot of you guys know he has an 80 damage combo from Godfist that's fairly easy. Even though I just dropped it. <laughs> a little bit more difficult on the girls uh, how do I use I play on the uh, I play claw style so two figures hovering above one and two <laughs> that's how I use that I used to uh, I used to play a long time ago with presets because I couldn't do rolling death cradle but um <clears throat> It's legal in tournaments now, so you guys can definitely use your top buttons if you feel the need to. Gotta learn how to move like that and buffer things. Just practice it, bro. You'll get it. Yeah, so, like I said, he has range on a lot of stuff. His homer moves, they have range. Uh, down for one plus two, he gets a um, free dash alley kick. If you're quick enough, even from a good distance away. Yeah, see, they would have gotten hit if they tried to stand up. The good way to know if it's like guaranteed, even if they back row, make them stand. And um, if they get kicked in the back, that means it's guaranteed if they back row. All right. Because I know it's looking like she could have blocked it, but nah. How do you do cross dash two into the cross dash one? Just wait a minute. You have way more time than you think you do. You can even do cross dash one after a hot pick. <laughs> it 
it's a little bit more difficult but the, the key is your timing being patient yeah damage department armor king is up there he's high up there every launch he at least gets like 69 to 70 points or even 80 at a while all his combos are like 85 plus let me see if I can show you Ninety two. So he he hurts. <laughs> if he hits you, he hurts. And um he has a throw game like no other character besides King. So automatically Armor King is coming into Tekken 7 as the second best grapple character on the game. Obviously. He has giant swing. Looks like a double. And it looks like shining wizard same animation you just have to guess especially if he's doing it like from crouch dash it's hard to tell the difference he has guaranteed damage from that throw there you just have to time it right uh oh yeah there it is i usually just mash it yeah you see it's a guaranteed three so 45 plus 8. Let's do it. <clears throat> 53. This is Miguel level damage? Yeah, he's up there. He's up there. He has a tombstone. Freaking 58 damage. He is... He's got damage on his throws. He's got this throw here. They uh, buffed this throw. It actually... Um, hits the wall now. In some instances, he can get guaranteed damage from it. I just don't know what to do. <laughs> Haven't really given too much time to practice. But yeah, causes deck, buffs his Oki. His Oki game is pretty good too. Cause he has a stump. He has a few moves that hit grounded like forward four, which is guaranteed after cross dash one. His um he's the stumps. Obviously if you stump someone that's face down head towards they can tech row you can't get all three ever but any other type of knockdown you can pretty much get all three that's a guaranteed sequence from a mid that has phenomenal phenomenal range and down back one plus two and that's also plus three on block so range is not a problem if you really really look at it A better question is what are his weaknesses? Well, in my opinion, Armor King, um, I don't like the damage and the amount of breaks presented in his chain grabs, but that's just me being selfish. His chain grabs are fine for what they are, for how quick they come out. See, King has to do almost a complete crouch dash before his crouch dash multis come out. But Armor King can just do it. Just like that. You see how quick that is? And it's a 33-33-33 mix-up. Because if you could do Crouch Dash, Muscle Buster with King, that means you could do Crouch Dash, go to sleep with Armor King. It's a little bit weird. Let me try it. Yeah, there it is. The JDCR special. His startup time is a huge weakness. Now, the speed on some of his attacks, like down forward to like 15 frames um, down to is really slow it's like 16 frames but outside of that you just have to play him in a different manner from tag 2 